All right, I'm here with USC coach Pete Carroll. Pete, uh, it's always a lot of optimism going into the season, a lot of question marks. You know, your team, great football team coming into the season, but you really never know how good they are because of all the different changes you've made this year until you actually get on the field. Yeah, that's that's absolutely the, the coach's issues, you know, that we have to live with that. And we don't know, you, know, you never know if they're going to hit anybody or tackle them either, you know. <laughs> but we made it through our first game and got started, and so the season is underway for us. And, few issues, you know, with the new quarterback and new linebackers and all that, but uh, I don't think uh, we figured it all out, but at least we're one game older and we're ready to go to a big game here in Ohio. Yeah, speaking of your new quarterback, uh, Matt Barkley, really got off to a, kind of a slow start, and you kind of expect that for any young freshman, but really seemed to pick up the, uh, the tempo as the game went along, uh, really established his confidence as the game went along, and great play calling, I'm sure, helped as well. I think the whole thing, the whole preparation really orchestrated by Jeremy Bates and, and, and Johnny Morton really was perfectly done. Um, and to get him to the game time feeling as good as he felt, us feeling good about him, his teammates really expecting that he's going to play well. Worked out, you know, he had 15 for 19, he threw a couple away, and we, we, we mishandled two balls, you know, so that's a pretty big time day. What, uh, what is it about the young freshman that, that really makes you smile every time I see you talk about him? Because you have some other uh, experienced quarterbacks on your squad, but you wanted to go with the young freshman because I think you feel like he has something special. What is that? He's won the job, you know, he, he's uh, in every way, all of the characteristics that you're going to ask for other than experience, he's got. Uh, he, he's a he's a leader. He's he's tough. He's got terrific athletic ability. He's got a great arm. He understands the game. He's smart. He studies. He loves it. I mean, everything you could ask of him, he just hasn't played a lot. But with that being said, he doesn't act like he hasn't played a lot. And 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 right from the beginning, when he got here in the springtime, we just kind of kept taking a step back. Gosh, he's really just controlling this, and he's, he's dealing with everything. And nothing set in the back, and he didn't have any bad days, and and that's what he's done ever since he's been here. So. In our minds, it's no big deal that he's playing, really. He's, he's just earned his way. To the outside world who hasn't seen him and doesn't know him, they're still wondering. Now, you had a lot of other transition with your ball club. Two new coordinators coming into this year. A lot of changes on defense because you lost some very, very good seniors last year to the NFL draft. All those different pieces seem to, to come together on Saturday. Well, you know, <clears throat> over the last three years, we've, I don't know, we've had 35 or six guys leave here, you know, and, and coaches coming and going and all that. That's happened because we've been fortunate and, and, and had some good good things happen. Uh, but what that does for us, Warren, is let's bring in really good guys to replace them. Jeremy Bates is an extraordinary coach. Johnny Morton moving up from the passing game coordinator to offensive coordinator. Jeremy coming in to call plays and be the assistant head coach in offense. Those guys have similar backgrounds. We have uh, kind of a, a legacy that we're kind of catching up with through uh, you know, part of the West Coast principle uh, and, and, and concept that, that makes sense to us. And we... Uh, we, we really didn't skip a beat. On defense, um, I, you know, I've been running this thing for so long. Rocky takes over and does all of the hard, busy work, and, and I keep the philosophy thing going. And So the continuity of it stayed the same. You know, we didn't change our system at all. We think we got better you know, by, by making the transitions, which you hope to do always. And We learn and we grow, and new eyes and new, new outlooks can help you. And I think it's, in this case, it really has. Well, these two schools, Ohio State and USC, have had some big games over the uh, over the course of this rivalry and uh, you guys haven't played back there since 1990 but you just played them here uh, last year and and handled them pretty well I, i'm sure you expect the environment to be a little bit different when you go back uh, and play in the big horseshoe this week yeah it's not going to be like at the collie here you know it's going to be a little different obviously they've got a great place and, and great fans and great support and a great history that that will bring a tremendous level of excitement you know from their end of it and we're going to have to deal with all that, that that means to us. You know, it's going to be very loud, and uh, we're going to have to, you know, really pay attention and communicate well and, and keep our minds on the game. And, and uh, hopefully we can do that. We've been through the, some tremendous challenges over the years, and, and our guys have basically handled it pretty well. But uh, this is a brand new one, and it's a great, great place to play. And, you know, when I was there years ago, I loved playing there in the home games and had a great time representing. And, and I know that those guys there are going to do the same. It's going to make it very difficult on us. Now, how do you help your young quarterback as he goes into this environment? Because this will be totally different than being at home for his first uh, opener. Yeah, well, it's going to be, obviously, it's, it's, it's as extreme change as you can get. Uh, you know, we worked during the week. We've worked all camp about the noise and all that kind of stuff. And, you know, you've been in all the toughest places in the world to play. It really is about the noise, you know. And, and, and if we can communicate well and, and stay with the system and l let that work for us, then we'll have a better chance. Uh, you know, I watched it. The Navy guys went in there and handled it, and they've got a very complex offense and style, and ours is not as much as, as theirs. But, you know, it's still, if we can just, you know, maintain communications and maintain our poise, then we'll have a chance to play okay.
Now, what's the biggest concern you have about Ohio State as far as their football team is concerned on, on the offensive side? Well, the, obviously the quarterback is, is, is such an extraordinary player. You know, he, he's such an enormous athlete. You know, he, he, he factors into everything. I mean, even if they have to throw him the ball like against Texas last year, they'll throw it to him if they have to, you know. So he can do everything. He's confident. He's tough. He's really fast. He's really hard to tackle in the offense allows him to do the things that he can do. You know, he's not restricted at all. So uh, I, I think everything about that, and they've got speed, they've got quality guys at all their positions <clears throat> and, and a great scheme. So it's just very difficult. Well, Coach, you guys are off to a great start. Congratulations on your first win, and uh, good luck against the Ohio State Buckeyes this week. Well, thanks, Warren. We look forward to a big game.